Welcome back. Our go-to foraging friend, Rachel West, is here. Rachel, how are you? Amazing. Our foraging friend. I love it. <laughs> what did you forage for today? Oh, my today? gosh. Well, so this morning, I um, I actually threatened uh, to bring a whole bouquet because I couldn't decide. I was walking down the road, and everything is in bloom right now. I bet you and are, so, like, having a heyday right now. Everything is drying in the dehydrator every day, every, uh, just, just processing. So, uh -huh. okay. uh, so today, the things that were screaming the loudest <laughs> were things that you probably have if you've got a side yard, um, uh, any spider wart. You? Yeah, so, well, so spider wart is something that people will a lot of times plant ornamentally as well. Uh, it's, it's used in different this? gardens. Yes. So is it like a ground cover or what? Uh, no, so this is an upright plant. Um, oh. They'll be three to four feet depending on how much light and how they're doing. And okay. if you notice these little buds here, they'll open, they're, they're also known as a day flower mm -hmm. because they'll have a different flower every day. Um, oh. They're edible. Okay. Um, so I, just pick it I up love and eat it. to, oh, and they are very, very mild, like butter lettuce. Oh, there they are. They're so pretty. So you could like get seeds to plant these in your garden or in your landscaping? You could, or you could buy these at your local nursery. Uh -huh. I see them around, but uh, all, all kinds of, uh, Field meadows uh, are just coated in these right now. Mm -hmm. They're uh, so you, pretty. So how long do they stay blooming? Um, well, every, one one per day. But, but if I you mean, see how many, uh, you've got a couple weeks usually. Okay, okay. If they're in the bloom, so they're weeks. just now starting uh -huh. in the last week or so. Okay. Uh, if I put this in a sunny window, I'll end up with a purple ink, which we will show here in a minute, uh, that you can whip with honey or you can just drizzle in your icing or anything. And oh. It's just this beautiful purple, uh, easy season. There it is. Yeah. There you go. That would make anything, the presentation, look so pretty. Yeah, and you can do that with violet flowers too, but the spider mm -hmm. wart right now, and you tasted how nice and cooling those are. So adding mm -hmm. them to a salad. Uh, the greens are edible. Another thing that's just all along a lot of fence rows and hedgerows right now is this sumac. So there right. is a poison sumac. I was going to say, you're going to have to clarify that because I've always heard about poisonous sumac. So poison sumac is not technically here in our area yet. Um, I, the reason I say technically is it's not on the map, but also kudzu isn't either, and I definitely have found it. So, oh. but the uh, poison sumac is a vine, whereas to this is an upright little low growing uh, shrub. Okay. And uh, poison sumac has white berries, and mm. all of the edible sumacs have these beautiful bright red berries. So if okay. you see these red berries, you will not mistake it. Now, another thing that a lot of people will mistake is the sumac, if you notice, it's got these leaves of three, and I'll uh, hand you one. Yeah, and that's a little bit scary. I'll kind of try to hold one up here. Um, now, poison ivy mm -hmm. will actually have a stem right here, and if Bo Brown was here, he would be telling me the perfect name for what that stem portion is. Okay, there. I think it's leaves of it. three, let them be usually. Right, well this fragrant <laughs> sumac this has got okay. leaves of three, and there's also lots of edible plants in the pea family that are delicious that also have leaves of okay. three. But uh, the poison ivy will also ha will always have this droop right here where the stem is come down, where the sumac is always touching and winged right there. Okay. And so and as you're looking red, at it, and though. also po uh, also uh, uh, poison ivy will not have red berries on it. Yeah. So as long as you're looking at where you're at, but you're gathering the red berries, and so that's what I wanted to talk about today. Okay. okay. Was as you harvest these little berries and you pinch them off, uh, mm -hmm. squeeze them with your fingers, and I don't know how dirty your hand is, but. Then lick one of your fingers, not the whole berry. Not the, not nope. the berry, just my finger. Just the, the sour oh, on there. So if that you is mix sour. It, yeah, so all you have to do is just float a few berries in <gasps> water and you get a, a lemonade. Okay. And, and it's complete. And so, and then you can oh also dry the sumac, which is used in the za'atar seasoning for a lot of Mediterranean. It's one of the, the base seasonings. So not only can you do lemonade, but you can dry the berries if you've got a dehydrator or just in your oven. That is on low. fascinating. Isn't like that, that it tastes like candy. That is amazing. And then while okay. we're talking about uh, lemon lime, uh -huh. your sorrel. So yeah, so I find this in my yard. Yes, mm -hmm. yard garden. It looks kind of like um, clover, basically, right? Try a little bitty bite. Oh, you actually eat so, it. So okay. uh, clover will not ever make these little pickles, and then uh, the sorrel's also uh, heart shaped. And so when you see those trifolite leaves that are heart shaped, you know that you've got the sorrel. Uh -huh. And so this is just another lemon lime plant. Yeah, it's it, just crazy it every, like in all of your yard or garden. That is amazing. All right, any events that we need to know about coming up? Yep, yeah. uh, July 22nd, I've got an overnight in Crystal Cave. And so mm -hmm. we're gonna be sleeping in the cave and going on a wild cave tour, feeding you wild food, having a movie set up. It's gonna be phenomenal. That is crazy so amazing. Still a few slots. Rachel really knows how to put on a party. I tell you, how to <laughs> feed you wild edibles. So your website, one more more time eating the ozarks.com thank you rachel thank you're amazing you. this is really cool all right up next we're going to find out where tom is today so stay with us yes. aren't those cool yeah